What's going on guys? Sharpshaw here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So for today's video, we're going to be showing you guys a tutorial on how to get a level 40 monster for your squad super easily. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So the monster you're going to be getting is called a gain or again i don't really know how to say it so i apologize if i'm butchering this anyways it's a level 40 monster that comes straight out of the story just to pull up some stats on the monster that you're going to be getting they have 1221 health they also have 87 attack which for me was by far the highest out of any monster i had he has 76 speed he has 87 res 85 mag and 78 defense and he also has six moves he has inferno which does 10 power he also has stagger which disrupts the enemy by one synergy and it does two power he also has accelerate which boosts up his speed by 20 percent he also has the skull slam which is just a normal attack which does four damage he also has swallow power which builds two synergy but also takes away 20 percent of your attack and finally he has dragon blast which is again another regular attack that does four power all right now we're going to go on to how you can actually get this monster so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get to the part of the story where you guys have to go to empathy kingdom if you know your way around the map really well just me showing you this map will be good enough but i'm also going to show you how to get there on foot so when you start at the farm you're going to want to go over to milltown and then crossing through the mines you're going to be going to desperado province and then you're going to want to cross the bridge into the winter section of the map and then there's going to be a campfire at that corner that goes off to the top and bottom towards frobic city you're going to want to take the top one obviously and go to the path all the way up to Appenton City and then you're gonna cross through the maze in between Empathy Kingdom and Appenton City to finally get to Empathy Kingdom. So now on foot, we're at the farm right now. You're gonna want to go into the Windy Province and then go to Milltown. So now that we're at Milltown, you're just gonna wanna cross this bridge over down to the mines. Now that you're in the mines, you're gonna to wanna to get out of the mines, obviously. So now that you're in Desperado province, you're gonna to wanna to find the bridge that crosses you over to the winter section of the map. And you're gonna to wanna to do this by going to Crossroads Town and then taking a right. All right, so we're at the bridge now and it's a super long bridge and it crosses over to the Frost Province, which is a good sign you're in the right direction. So now you're gonna to wanna to keep going until you see a campfire right here. And going down takes you to Frobic City, but we don't wanna go there. We wanna to go to Empathy Kingdom, which is going up top. And then following this path, will get you to Appenton City. So here's Appenton City, but yet again, we don't want to go there and we want to continue following the path until we find the entrance into the mountain. So now we're entering into the undergrowth pass and I have a tutorial of me figuring it out in episode seven of my let's play series. But what you want to do is get this seed all the way to where it was right now. And then when you push it, it'll break these tree bark and then you can cross this path and get on your way to empty kingdom. So now once you arrive to the other side, you're gonna to wanna to go out here and then follow this path and you're gonna be in Empathy Kingdom. So basically you're gonna to wanna to go into this house right on the left here and then when you talk to the girl, she's gonna talk about getting an atomic clock. You wanna find the atomic clock when you go to the cave all the way above Empathy Kingdom. This is the path to get there. So once you go into the cave, you're gonna find an atomic clock inside the cave. And then once you grab that, you can go back to the house. And once you get to the house, you can talk to the girl again, and it's gonna hatch the monster that you're gonna get. Once it breaks down the house, it's actually gonna go back to the caves that you were originally at to find the atomic clock. So you're gonna wanna go back there again. You're gonna wanna go on top of the cave and you're gonna meet the monster that you have to beat. Fair warning, as he is level 40, you're gonna have to have a pretty 
pretty decent team to beat him and a quick tip to finding some high level monsters the cave right before you meet the monster has the highest levels that you can find at least that i know of and along the way if you had beat some bosses here and there you might have collected some pretty high level monsters so you might be all set once you beat him make sure you offer it a pack because if you beat him then he'll just disappear for good and you don't want that you obviously want him another tip there's going to be a supreme pact in the cave offer it a supreme pact when it's super low level and you'll have even better stats than i had i unfortunately failed the supreme pact so i had to settle for a normal pack so try and get the supreme pack down because that's going to be the best monster you encounter so far so yeah guys once you get the pack down and he accepts it he's your monster to keep if you found this tutorial helpful make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more monster crown content so yeah guys that's going to be the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and sharp subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video